Be in it. <laughs> Hi, Halo. Hi. <laughs> Today was not the bad day. It was pretty long, but not the bad day. So that's good. Rose Garden's my favorite part. This is so freaking pretty. Italy for some reason. <laughs> Can I introduce you? Okay. I'm with my new friend Dylan. He's actually in my art class. So we were in art together. That's how we met. But he likes to explore like I do. So he's a cool person too. Right now we're at um, the capital in Nika. And we're gonna go, we're gonna try to get all the way to the top. So I'm super excited about that. So pretty here too. Hey, you can see the light, like the stairs up there. Oh yeah. That's what I was talking about. Cool. That's so awesome. Good dude. This is so cool. <laughs> See, I've been in museums as long as they're not boring, you know? As long as they're not boring. 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 <laughs> wow. Oh my gosh. It does. The only time we want to be here. <laughs> what? <laughs> Are you excited? <laughs> they look like fancy little doors. It's all gold. <laughs> There's a little stick seat if you get tired. <laughs> Oh, this is bigger than I thought. <laughs> we will do it today. <laughs> this is so pretty. I want to be rich. Huh? Life slider. Do we get to sled down the stairs if we're in danger? <laughs> <laughs> I'm so loud. <laughs> this is so cool. I feel like we're not even in um, Kansas right now, to be honest. I feel like there's no one here. I know, which makes it feel even better. <laughs> hey, oh, cool. Fancy. I don't remember where to go at this point. Why are you not focusing, camera? You all know where the tour actually started? Um, I don't. Okay. Not anymore. I did until we got up here and then got turned around. <laughs> Whoa! Oh my gosh. I think it's, she said it was back that way. And it was like...
I'm getting so distracted. We can do all this after, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. Let's do that. I'm gonna have so much stuff to edit. <laughs> That's okay though, it's worth it. There's the little men's room. <laughs> oh, did we just go in a circle? We're in a half circle. I wanna ride down them stairs now, <laughs> like I swear. <laughs> stairs oh oh wow Th those are the ones we're gonna be walking on are you sure wow don't drop your camera oh i would cry i'm actually knock on wood pretty freaking good about i've went on roller coasters holding my camera I wasn't feeling it anymore. I wonder who did these paintings. I don't know. It seems really cool. They must have got a lot of freaking money from it. Yeah. Like, but look at that shot. It looks like something from a movie. From my camera. Oh, yeah. See it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I said the same thing. Kind of. Oh my gosh. You would freaking out. This is so cool. It's like a, it's like a house. <laughs> <laughs> this is so cool. Oh my gosh. I don't know if I can Wow. <laughs> Someone wrote. <laughs> That's great. Okay. You can look over the edge into the rotunda below. As you look above your heads here, you're looking up at the inner dome. Outer copper dome you see on the outside of the building is another eight stories above this. The inner dome is put in mostly for cosmetic reasons, so that anytime you're looking up from below like you are today, you'd be looking up at a thing of beauty. They also needed to harness the outside daylight. When the Capitol was completed in 1903, after 37 years of construction, it was gas lit. It wasn't very bright in here, so they utilized the outside daylight with 256 panels of glass, a half inch thick. The big light up there is replicated off the original gas chandelier. In 1942, it was lowered to the ground, dismantled, and its metals were taken to the scrapyard and donated to help with the metal drive for World War II. Around the rotunda, 16 large columns support the inner dome, most recently getting a facelift or a paint job on the inside while being left raw with the graffiti here on the backside. Very happy they did that as the graffiti is a part of the history in the dome. I'll tell you more about that as we get up to the next level. Below us here on the soffit are four allegorical murals. They are some of the oldest artwork in our capital. However, it's not the original artwork. In 1898, the populist finally was in power in the state of Kansas. They commissioned an Italian artist from Kansas City by the name of Jerome Fidelli. He came in painting directly on the plaster, and this is what he painted.
behind me. We're added to this level of emergency smoke evac paying system in case there be a fire or smoke hazards in the capital. So we are going to advance up another level here above our head. On the base of the statue on top of the dome, placed up there in October of 2002, 99 years after they said the building was complete. It was always in the original design. It's modeled off of a Kansa Indian warrior. The Kansa Indian people in the state of Illinois were measured from the ground at the tip of the bow on the statue at 306 feet. At that height, it also placed it. I got documented proof you did it. Wow. We're only done halfway. We still got to go down. I know, right? That's better than up, though. Yeah. You good? Yeah. You're doing good? Yeah, I'm good now. Wow. We're on top of the dome now. We're at the top part of it, at least. Oh my gosh. The scares, the climb up here was scary, but <laughs> we did it! We did it! Tell it! We did it! You did it! I'm so proud of you! I'm so proud of you! Thank you. Take your time. Cool yourself off, and then you can head down whenever you're ready to go down. Cool. Uh -huh. okay. You can go around as many times as you want, take all the pictures you want, get back in the shade, the coolness, and then head down whenever you're ready. Thanks very much. It feels great up here. He does. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is awesome. This is so cool. It, the breeze is amazing up here. <laughs> That would be so cool. So cool. It's cooler over here too. We did it. Yeah, we did. <laughs> How proud I am for you! I'm so proud of you! Just this is. Does it feel good? Yeah. <laughs> That's cool. It feels so good up here. Cool. How often do you I was like, I have to get this footage. Wanting to specifically find the. Uh, Genre. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let's walk in and I'll film as we go. Ooh. I'm so happy you thought about this. This is great. This is a random ATM. Let's take your money at it. <laughs> <laughs> Where did he say it was? I forgot. I did too. We're, we we're can ask freaked out too much to even think about it. Oh, more stairs. <sighs> oh god, yeah, this is a lot of stairs. <sighs> we got this though. <laughs> I thought, oh wait, the floor we were already on was supposed to be where it was, I think. Is this it? I hope. This is the second floor. Oh shit. You did want to see these statues though. Yeah. There it is. Oh cool. We found it. This is my boy right here. <laughs> That's awesome. Freaking camera sucks at the color though. Like, you see how it washes it out? How bad the camera washes oh, yeah. it out? It's awful. I freaking hate it. Oh, it gets, it gets it's a little better right now.
This looks like something out of a movie. It does. Oh my gosh, what are you little dude? I mean, you're a pretty big little dude. He's beautiful. Whoa. Do you like mom? I like butterflies more, but this one's very pretty. Uh -huh. I don't get why some people are creeped out by mom. Uh, probably because of the colors. Like all the way up there. That's where you were. That's so freaking cool. Would you do it again? Me? Yeah. I don't know. Maybe. Ask me some other day. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> My legs are still slow. No. So, overall experience, what do you think? 7 out of 10. Yeah? Yeah. What makes it a 7 out of 10? I'm out of shape. Uh, <laughs> me too. <laughs> what would you give it? I would probably give it a 10 out of 10. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Because it was my first time here and it was super exciting and it's really pretty. And then being up there with the cool breeze, it was really nice. It was beautiful. Cool. Yeah, too bad you couldn't see your grandma's house from there. <laughs> that would have really, made it a 10 out of 10. You could have been calling your grandma and be like, Grandma! He's alive. Is that a dragonfly? That's a cicada. Oh. He's not alive. <laughs> hey, is that a toolbox? <laughs> Yeah, I'm so out of shape these days. I need to get back in shape. Like bad. <laughs> I've never been in shape. <laughs> the last quotes? Swans. Ooh. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. Oh my gosh. Oh, hey, Dylan. <laughs>